I'm here with Puki Kalinen, bassist and singer of Finland's own bluegrass metal hybrid internet sensation, Steve and Seagulls. The band came to widespread notice last summer and has just released their debut album called Farm Machine on Spine Farm Records. So, Puki, thanks for taking the time to talk with We Love Metal today. No problem. All right. So this seems like it's been a fast and kind of wild ride for you guys over the last year. Um, do you have any words that you can describe it? Uh, not really. It's been a <laughs> surprise for us to... That's, well, to be completely honest, it was a complete surprise to us. Uh-huh. Well, sometimes that's a, a great way to go. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you guys have really came to public notice last summer. Um, but you've been playing together as a band for a while before that. How how did you guys get together, and how long had you been playing together? Mm, well, we've known each other for maybe 10 years, a little over 10 years now. So... Um, and we had been playing together before in different bands with these guys. But um, Steven Seagulls came together, I think it was 2010 mm-hmm. or or 11. I forgot already, but, but it's been around for a few years. Um, well, actually, originally it was meant to be a sort of a concert band for a short restaurant tour, about 20 gigs or so. But it sort of took off. Right. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it, it seems like you really uh you, you put your craft together and I, I found the playing to be um really exceptional. I mean, you guys are aren't just you're not messing around. You you really seem like serious musicians. Mm, well, thanks. I guess that's high praise. <laughs> we we have been playing professionally or making a living out of music for about 10 years, sure. Of us. So I guess that shows a little bit, but I mean, we can't really compete with your original sort of really hardcore bluegrass musicians. Right. So we try, try to cook up our own stuff. Well, that kind of brings a point. Um, you know, in the U.S. is kind of where it originated. And I, I certainly have an appreciation for bluegrass here. Um, but how widespread how how well known is it in northern europe you know in the in the uh scandinavian countries how big is bluegrass over there Mm -hmm. i don't know if you can call it big right over here but but there is a scene at least in sweden and finland Uh uh-huh that you can actually call it a bluegrass scene so um there are a couple of very good bluegrass bands in Finland. I mean, real bluegrass bands, not like us. Sure. And in Sweden, too. Okay. So, you're not coming out of nowhere, necessarily. Um, but your your approach is probably quite a bit different than some of those bands. Well, we hope so, because <laughs> we're not trying to be purists of any kind. Uh-huh. Um, so, I... I don't think I've seen this anywhere. Why the combination of bluegrass and hard rock or heavy metal songs? Mm, Well, the original idea for the tour that we started off with was to sort of make, I don't know, country, western, hillbilly, bluegrass, all that shit type of versions from pop songs, even Finnish pop songs. We still do have a couple of. Finished covers that we play on gigs in Finland. Okay. But mm, after things kind of took off for us, after we posted the Trooper in YouTube, I guess that's when we started thinking that maybe we should only focus on metal and rock and forget about Lady Gaga for a little while. Fair enough. Um, I think a lot of the music lends itself to, to your type of playing too. Um, I, you know, having listened to the album a little bit, I, I really had a new appreciation for, uh, Paradise City. That, that came across so well. Um, I'm not a big Guns N' Roses fan, but the way you guys, uh, put that one together, um, 
it was very enjoyable. How how did you guys uh, or how did you uh, approach any song in particular? Maybe you want to talk about was there there one that said we have to do this song? Mm, well, Paradise City was one of the first that we, uh, at least on this album, one of the first we had before we started making the actual album. Uh-huh. Um, well, I guess Seek and Destroy probably was the most fun to make. The, the arrangement came together just, well, I think it was about the day before the recording. Oh, wow. So, well, but... We had enough time and we've been playing together so long and we know, we knew the sound engineer who recorded and sort of co-produced the album. So it wasn't really a problem arranging the song, songs in the studio. Okay. Um, I'm also wondering about that I, in, uh, I want to say, um, one of the songs, there's a, a a little bit of some Finnish folk uh, melody. Um, I don't remember what song it was. Uh, I think it was one of the ACDC songs. Uh, yeah, that's probably because of our accordion player and okay. his background in traditional sort of Slavic and Scandinavian dance music. Okay. So that's probably where it comes from, the... Um, kind of dumb pieces of melodies and uh-huh. little licks and such. Yeah. Um, you know, f- folk metal is kind of a, a well, I, I want to say a big deal, but to, to some peop- metal fans, it's it's a big deal. And I, I love the the folk metal uh, genre in general, but a lot of uh, the Finnish bands, and Sifferum, uh being one of my favorites, who I will see next week. Really? And uh, Teresa's. Um, do, do you guys ever, uh, have, have you had any, uh, any dealings with any of the, the kind of bigger bands like that? Mm, not really. I mean, as a band, but obviously Finland has about five and a half million people and oh, just about everybody at least. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a band? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it comes to musicians, let's just say that everybody knows everybody through somebody at least. Sure. Sure. Um, one of the uh, bigger Finnish bands, I think, Nightwish. I, I saw you. Uh, you're going to cover one of their songs uh, next month. Have you guys decided which one? Mm, I think they decided for us. I mean, there was a sort of kind of vote or a competition or something. Right. But I forgot which song it was. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, think, I think we need to be well. Let's say that we'll use the last week of this month to arrange that song, okay. or at least a couple of days. I'm kind of hoping it'll be... Um, wait a minute, what's it called? No, um, Oh, shit, I'm embarrassing <laughs> myself here. But <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I forgot. Well, anyway, it'll be played, arranged before the night with crews between Stockholm and... Turku, I think. Well, between Sweden and Finland, anyway. Uh huh. So that will be in the beginning of June. Okay. Well, I, I hope uh, hope we get a recording of that one as well. Um, a lot of fun. <laughs> we'll probably, we'll probably record it at some oh, point. Great. Um, you guys are, are uh, aside from that that uh, cruise, you're playing some pretty big festivals this summer you're going to uh numi rock and summer breeze sweden rock and of course the big one uh Vakken. so i imagine that's gonna yeah. be a little different for you guys than uh the restaurant tour <laughs> yeah it, it, it'll be a little different i guess you're right about that i'm really looking forward to that they call summer breeze because it's sort of very, very inappropriately named. I mean, as for the bands, I think they have sort of just the heavier stuff, and then us. Oh, really? Okay, so you'll be the uh, the light refreshment. You'll be the breeze part of the summer breeze. <laughs> Probably. And of course, well, I'm really looking forward to all of the festivals you mentioned. 
Sure. Um, I, I'm sure uh, the reception will be great there. Uh, I, you know, most metal fans I run into are, are pretty open-minded, and, and uh, you know, metal isn't necessarily a uh, a sound, but a lot of times it's an attitude, and it, it feels like you guys have that, which is cool. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to meeting like an actual metal crowd that has a sense of, well, they have some sort of a tribal sense, right? Of sorts. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, good description. Um, so you guys have done cover songs uh, pretty much exclusively till now. Um, any originals in the works for you guys? Um, yep, there are a couple of those in the works, but, uh, too early to tell. I mean, if we get to make a second album, then probably we'll try to squeeze in a couple of our own songs, but it'll be still mainly covers. Okay. At least I think so. Yeah. Um, it, it comes across really great. Um, okay. My final question for you today, uh, our website is called We Love Metal, and I usually ask whoever I'm interviewing, why do you love metal? But today I have to add something. Why do you love metal, and why do you love bluegrass? I oh, shit, that's a tough one. <laughs> um, probably because they have at least one thing in common. I mean, they're both sort of folk music. Bluegrass being older folk music, traditional folk music, or so-called traditional, and metal being, at least in Finland, the mo- modern folk music. Right. That's not so different. I mean, you can tell by the songs we did, and by the songs you probably, if you're into folk metal, you know that they, those two are not that far apart. Sure, there's a... Uh... I don't know, a synergy maybe between the two that, that, uh, kind of ties them together. They're not necessarily exclusive. So. Mm, no, no. Okay. Well, hey, Pookie, uh, thanks for taking the time to talk with We Love Metal today. And, uh, to the fans out there listening, be sure to check out Farm Machine for something a little different. It might not be the distorted guitars that you're looking for, but the attitude is still metal. So be sure to check it out. Thanks. (laughs) 